What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is preview time for Wales taking on Scotland in the only Six Nations match that is taking place this weekend. Obviously the other games have been postponed due to the coronavirus. It would have been France taking on Ireland as well as England taking on Italy. Those games have been postponed and there's not word yet on when it will be rescheduled or if it even will be rescheduled a lot of talk going on as to whether or not they should just can this tournament or continue it at a later stage let's hope it gets continued for the sake of the sport so we could see an overall winner both these teams have a lot to play for Scot wales playing for only one one scotland playing for winning two obviously their last win was their strong one against france where they really showed up and played some quality rugby against the french side that was heading towards a grand slam but that wasn't the case thanks to the scots who really played solid rugby and showed the world that they definitely are a force to be reckoned with and we shouldn't count them out which is great for scotland rugby we've seen them play great great um, rugby at the start of this tournament but it was silly mistakes and discipline that cost them the games um, otherwise in my opinion they could have beaten various teams um, but that wasn't the case but they definitely shown the improvement Gregor Townsend seems to have gotten it right with this team in order to figure out where their players are and how to focus and go forward um, so that's a positive if we look at Wales you know, they, they've unfortunately had a lot of injuries this season, which has definitely knocked them out of it. Um, and obviously, when your star players are playing, your team's missing out those important aspects and players who you're used to playing with. And unfortunately, it just hasn't been the year for Wales. But, I mean, they've still got a quality team and have every opportunity at bouncing back and maybe getting up the log after... A solid win this weekend so a lot on the line for these teams especially from a redemption point of view and um, it will be an exciting to uh, game to watch um, I mean Wales have the, f the favor of being at home playing at the Manalium which is always a great sight to see for any rugby fan because of the history of that stadium last time these two met was in 2019 and the score was 11 18 to wales wales winning that one then they played twice in 2018 the 3rd of november and then the 3rd of feb 34 7 and it was a victory to wales and then 21 10 was a victory to wales last time scotland beat wales was in 2017 and the score was 29 13 and that was at murrayfield now they're playing at home so a lot is indeed on the line for wales and they for both teams actually and they'll be wanting to play to the best of their ability in order to achieve those results that they are wanting of the tournament please excuse the hoover in the background but the show must go on and I want to get a video out there for you guys. So we've seen the results. We've seen what we've, we've witnessed in this tournament and what we've seen in the past. The log is looking Yamakar at the moment. England at the top of 13 points, followed by France on 12, then Scotland on 10. Ireland on um, 8, Wales on 6 and Italy on 0. Wales, if Wales could get a win, they'll definitely shoot up that log and have a take. Ireland, if Scotland win, they stand a chance of maybe topping the log. Obviously, we know there are games to be, be held, but hey, that will be something strange to end the tournament with the Scots on the log. Good for them. I hope they get it right. But it's going to be tough. It's going to be competitive. We're going to see up and down movement. We're going to see hard play. Last game for Wales was a lot of drama with Joe Marley incident and um, with Alan Wynne Jones. For those who don't know, Joe Marley has been banned for 10 weeks and I think that's a fair ban having said that. Um, but overall it should be a cracking game to look forward to. So we'll definitely see the outcome coming out for this weekend and I'm definitely excited to see. How these two teams flare up, Scotland definitely going to be on a high after the great win over France. Wales would definitely be on a low, but will be wanting to change it into something positive as they will be wanting redemption after the, the three losses in a row. And hey, anything is possible that just can gel together, get things focused. There have been changes have been made in the squad for Wales and Alan Wynne-Jones stands to break a record. So a lot is on the line for these teams as they approach um this big encounter he, it's 
test appearance record that he is going to equal, which is a world record, which is fantastic. True ambassador to Wales, great inspiration to the team. He's been a solid leader, and I wish him all the best in this big game for him. Having said that, we get to predictions now. Look, I think it's going to be a tough fighting game. I think Wales are going to give it their absolute all. I think that boost at the end that they had against England will definitely be their go-to point. They will want to bring it to England as they approach, to Scotland, bring that momentum that they had against England and take it on against the Scots. Scots will be on par and will be positive as well. So I think it's going to be a tough game. But... Um, I think first half it's going to be to and from points wise. I think kicking goal is going to be a very important game for this team. If for these teams, if you don't succeed in the there goes the mic. If you don't succeed in the kicking, you're definitely going to have a problem. So having said that, I think Scotland will definitely take lead here and there in the game, but um, I'm going to go for a Wales victory over. Um, Scotland, um, I'll be happy if I'm wrong. I'd like to see Scotland get three out of three, but um, or three on in a row. But I just think Wales being at home, needing that win, very importantly, to at least get somewhere in the slog, I think it will do them a lot of good if they can pick up a win, and I think they need it and will be fighting harder for it. So having said that, it's Wales to win, and I'm not going to say the points because there's only one opportunity at Superbrew this weekend, and I'm not giving that away. So Wales to win, and that will do it for predictions for Wales versus Scotland this weekend. Fortunately, only one game to look forward to, but at least it is some sort of rugby and something special to look forward to. So hope you enjoy it. May the best team win. Good luck to Wales fans. Good luck to Scotland fans. And let's hope we get a cracker. Give the video a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you real soon for another one. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.